Hey teachers, if you want to save hours of time planning your lessons, creating PowerPoints, and grading essays, you have to check out this tool called Almanac. Almanac is completely free to get started, and it can generate worksheets, slide decks, and activities in seconds. By the end of this video, you'll learn exactly how you can use this tool to streamline your planning process and spend more time engaging with your students. Let's get started. First, head on over to almanac.ai. Start by logging in with a free account. Once you're logged in, you'll see all the features on the left panel, and we're going to start with lesson planning. With Almanac, you can plan out an entire course curriculum, and I'll show you just how. Begin by clicking the Plan a Course button. You can use this toggle button if you want to use a standardized curriculum or add your own. I'm going to use the Cambridge curriculum, and say I'm a chemistry teacher, so I'm going to find my course below. There are a ton of courses here, but I'm going to choose Chemistry O-Level. Now, once I click on the course, I'll be able to add units. You can either choose Suggest Units, which will generate units with AI, or you can manually add your own. I'm going to click Suggest Units just to show you an example. In a matter of seconds, the units will be generated for me, and I can even move them around using the up and down arrows or this button. You can always add more units or delete them. Next, if I click on the name of the unit in the color teal, it's going to list the different lessons within this unit. You could choose to add more lessons, but I think this is a good starting place. When you click on each lesson, it's going to give you a list of learning outcomes, and I could edit any of these or add new ones as I'm doing here. Almanac even lets you create your own resources for these lessons, and there are so many to choose from. At the top, you'll see all of the common resources that are recommended for you, and below are AI-suggested resources. For example, since this is a chemistry lesson, there are resources for creating experiments, data analysis activities, and interactive simulations. In this lesson, I'm going to start off by creating a lab experiment. I could choose to have it be based on the learning outcomes from earlier or from my own resources. It also gives the option to add more specific instructions. Next, I'm going to click Create. And just like that, it's going to generate an entire lab experiment tailored for my class. As you can see, it covers lesson objectives, materials, procedures, a chart for observations, discussion questions, and key vocabulary. If you want to generate a new one, you could click Start Over. Or if you want to modify what you have, you can request modifications in the box below. Once everything looks good, I can go up and export this as a PDF to use and distribute in the classroom. Or I can export this as a Google Doc or a Microsoft Word Docs and make further edits on there as well. Now let's go back to Almanac and I'll show you a couple more resources you can make. Let's say I'm looking for some great videos on this lesson. Rather than spending hours scouring through the internet, you can simply click video recommendations and there are a ton of high quality videos to choose from. Next, so you're presenting this topic to your students, so let's create a slide deck. All you have to do is press Create, and Almanac will generate your slides in seconds. Here's what we have to start off with. As you can see, it's properly formatted into a slide deck with titles, bullet points, and images. And if you click on the plus button, it's going to generate more slides on the topic. I can also look through and change any images simply by clicking on the image, and they give you a ton of options to swap it out with. Now, I can export this as a Google Slides or as a PowerPoint. And from there, I can edit it even more to add or fix any details, and it's ready to use in the classroom. Next, let's create a worksheet. What's great about Almanac is that you can create a worksheet exactly how you want it based on what you're covering in the class and based on your student's interest. For instance, you can even make this Halloween theme if you wanted. I'm just going to keep it quite basic and say I want five multiple choice, five short answers, and a diagram labeling question. Click Create, and just like that, you'll have your own custom worksheets. You can save this one to use for your entire class, or you could generate variations. You can also modify your worksheet after it's been created. For instance, I'm going to add an answer key to this worksheet, and keep in mind whenever you use AI, you always want to double check the answers because they may not always be accurate. So as a teacher, it's a good idea to review it yourself just in case there may be anything incorrect. Once your worksheet looks good, you can export this as a PDF, Google Docs, or a Microsoft Word document. After creating all your resources, you can go back to the course page, and Almanac gives you the ability to schedule out your lessons. Simply click on the toggle button at the top, and you can input your start date and meeting times. Let's say I teach this class on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Hit OK, and then it'll schedule out all your lessons for the course. It's also super flexible. 
So if you needed to change the order of the units, the lesson times will automatically change for you. Now, if you're an educator who teaches multiple subjects or various grade levels, you can always choose to add more courses. For my final example, I'm going to model a year eight English teacher on the UK national curriculum. By now, hopefully it should be easy to follow along. Simply click on a course, next press suggest units, and let's say I'm teaching a unit on Shakespeare, specifically Romeo and Juliet. As you can see, it will generate a bunch of resources tailored to this specific lesson, but you can even create your own. In the top section, you can input the type of resource you want to create. Let's say I want to create a sonnet writing activity. I'm going to hit OK, and then you could choose to add more specific details if you'd like. Technically, I can still press create, and it'll generate a writing activity automatically. But I also like to add some specific instructions to tailor it to my classroom. For instance, I might want this activity to include a description and elements of a sonnet, as well as an example of a sonnet found in Shakespeare before students get to writing their own sonnets. And as you can see, this resource has been created for me in a matter of seconds, and I could print it out for my students, or I can even make this digital. I can export this to Google Docs and have students work on it in Google Classroom. You can use this however best suits your class. Now let's go back to Almanac. Keep in mind, if you ever want to reference your past resources, simply click on the resource button on the left panel. Here, you'll be able to find all of your resources in one place. Now this next feature on Almanac is going to blow you away. This is the grading feature, and all you have to do to get started is upload your document. In this example, I'm going to upload an analysis essay on Romeo and Juliet. You can see here on the left is my essay, and then on the right side, I can input my rubric or any specific grading instructions. For my rubric, I specifically mentioned for it to list any grammar or spelling issues so I can spot them right away. Next, I'm going to press Get Feedback, and it's going to generate feedback based on the rubric or instructions. You can see here that it points out their strengths as well as some areas of improvement. You can also point out things the student may have missed so that they can go back and revise it. You'll notice here that there are spelling errors that are easy to spot, but keep in mind that the feedback may not always be accurate, so I would recommend you use this as a guide to help you and your students. We have a nice overall conclusion here, and you can keep this as a feature reference by clicking Save Feedback. I highly recommend you check out these features and see how it can help you in your classroom. That's the end of our Almanac tutorial, and I hope you found this helpful. If you want to get started, all you have to do is go to almanac.ai, and I'll include the link in the description below. Please like and subscribe to our channel, and feel free to subscribe to our weekly newsletter where we go over the latest AI tools like these. See you in the next video!